Today we are going to learn how to do a sushi pen and ink drawing. So to get started, we are going to begin by lightly sketching our image onto our paper. So you want to make sure whenever you start a drawing that you map out your proportions accurately. You always want to draw the larger shapes and get the proportion accurate before we move on to the smaller shapes. So here I'm using the X grid. I like to use the X grid because it involves minimal measuring. You simply draw a line from corner to corner, draw a line through the center, and you can break up each quadrant as you need it. I'm not getting any of the details so notice I'm bouncing around the drawing and I'm using my grid to help me determine where all of the biggest shapes go. I'm not pressing hard and I'm getting everything in very lightly so that if I make a mistake it's really easy to erase. I'm double checking everything. I'm working from larger shapes to smaller shapes and then once I'm happy with my drawing I'm going to erase the grid lines and I'm going to erase my drawing so that I can see it but so that it is barely visible. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test out my pens. I'm going to get a variety of different point sizes. Get ready to do my drawing. Come on, let's go. Let's get ready. Get ready for what? So this is a lesson I do with my high school art students. And prior to getting started, we have already reviewed basic techniques. We've seen a slideshow and a video demonstration that goes over important things to remember and techniques that students are going to be using. So the images that we're working from are images that I have already cropped and edited so that they contain a wide range of value and they're uniform in size. Uh, they come gridded and non-gridded so that students don't have to worry about measuring. All of that prep work is already done for them. I have a rubric so that they can gauge their progress throughout the project and see how they are being graded. All of those things you can find in my Teacher Pay Teacher shop, Inside Out Art Teacher, or on my website, insideoutartteacher.com. Now I'm going through and I am going over and I'm mapping out some of those larger contour lines with a thicker marker. And then I'm going in and I'm going to begin defining some of the texture with the larger markers. Then I'm going to take the fine point pen and I'm going to use some of those hatching techniques to fill in the values and get those shadows. So that right side of the sushi there is a little bit darker. So I'm using some hatching to get those darker values, yet I'm also defining the texture at the same time. So you want to use light pressure. Don't push too hard on your point and you want to look very closely at your reference image. So what I'm looking for here is what are you looking for? Is I'm looking for some of the textures, also looking at the values. So these hatching marks are not only defining the darkness and lightness, they're also being used to kind of mimic the textures that I'm seeing in the reference photo. Alternating between my thicker pens and my thinner pens, I'm gonna add my background. So the background doesn't have to look exactly like your reference image. You want to use your background to make your image stand out. So by creating this shadow in the background, I'm defining the edge of my form, but I'm not necessarily going to darken the entire background. I can kind of just get the essence of the shadow and play around with different hatching techniques and different textures. The idea with the background is you want it to make your image stand out. Remember to take a step back and look at your work. I'll take a step back. Step forward and step back. Especially kind of towards the end and make sure you're really looking at that reference photo. And most of all, make sure you're having fun. Enjoy these hatching techniques and this sushi drawing project.